Hi guys, good day. It's me, the Charm J. Our topic for today class, it's all about Triangle Angle by Sector Theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So if a segment bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into segments proportional to the other two sides. So let me explain this one. If we have given triangle ABC and this line segment CD bisects angle ACB, so once again class, the word bisect there, it means you cut an object into two equal parts. Now since we bisect an angle, therefore we cut this angle C, okay, this angle A, C, B, this angle right here, this one, we cut this one into two equal parts because C, D bisects angle A, C, B. Therefore, this angle right here will be congruent to this angle. We can say that angle A, C, D is congruent to angle B, C, D. Angle B, C, D. So just an example, if this is 30 degrees, Therefore, this is also 30 degrees. Okay, because this angle has been bisect by this segment CD. Now, according to the theorem, the opposite side is proportional to the other two sides. So, the opposite side of this angle, there would be this AD. The opposite side of this angle BCD, there would be DB. Now, this opposite side is proportional to the other two sides. The ratio of this side will be equal to the ratio of these two sides. So therefore, we can say that AD, line segment AD, over line segment DB, is equal to this side AC over CB. You can write it BC or CB. So that's the thing there, class, with regards to triangle, angle, bisector theorem. This two opposite side, the ratio of this two opposite side will be equal to the ratio of these two sides. So once again, let's give an example class for you to understand this one. What if this is 3, this is 5, and this is 6? You're told to find this one. So how will you find x? Of course, once again, the ratio of this side over this side will be equal to the ratio of this side over this side. Once again, this side over this side then this side over this side. Now, if you start in this DB, this side over this side, so therefore you start at here, at the right side, this side over this side. So we start here at the left side, AD. So AD over DB, so AD is 3. So 3 over 5 is equal to 6 over X. 6 over X. Now, how do you find X? That's correct. You simply do cross multiplication. You cross multiply. So, 3 times x, that is 3x. 5 times 6, that is 30. And then, to get the value of x, you divide both sides by 3. So, x is equal to 30 divided by 3, that is 10. That's it plus. Therefore, this one is 10. x is equal to 10. Very easy, right? For the triangle angle by sector term. Let's give more examples, class, for you to really understand how to solve triangle angle by sector term. Alright, so example number one, we're told to find y. So once again, this angle is congruent to this angle. So that would be the ratio of this side, the opposite side of this angle, 8 over y is equal to 20 over 25. So 8 over y, the opposite side, is equal to the ratio of this other two sides. So 20 over 25. So once again, class, before doing the cross multiplication, you always check the fraction if you can reduce. Because these are large numbers, class, 20 and 25. Imagine if you multiply 8 and 25. These are large numbers. So you have two options, class, to solve this one. You can reduce or you can just simply cross multiply. Let's have the two solutions, class. Let's cross multiply. But for me, class, if I will be the one who will solve this one, I will reduce before doing the cross multiplication. So let's have the two solutions. So 8 times 25 is equal to 20 times y. So 8 times 25, so let's multiply that. So 8 times 5, that is 40, 0 carry 4, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4, that is 20. That's 200 is equal to 20 times y, that would be 20y. And to get the value of y, you divide both sides by 20. So divide by 20, divide by 20, and our y is equal to 10. 200 divided by 20, that is 10. 
So therefore, our y is 10. So this is 10. Now, the other solution. So for me, class, it's better to reduce before doing the cross multiplication. So 8 over y is equal to 20 over 25. Now, we can reduce 20 and 25 by 5, right? 20 divided by 5, that is 4. 25 divided by 5, that is 5. So you will have small numbers. 8 over y is equal to, instead of 20 over 25, we write that into 4 over 5. Then you cross multiply. So you will have small numbers, class. So 8 times 5, that is 40, equals 4 times y, that is 4y. Then divide by 4, so that you will get the value of y. So therefore, our y is equals to 40 divided by 4, that is 10. You will have the same answer. So it's up to you, class, which do you prefer? But for me, I better reduce the fraction, if these are large fractions, before doing the cross multiplication. So it's up to you, class. So therefore, our answer for number 1, y is equals to 10. Alright, let's try number 2. Alright, so number 2, we're told to find S. Now, we don't have the value of this given opposite side of this angle. So we don't have this side, class. And then, we have this side, but we have the total, that is 40. So, how will you get this side? That's correct. Simply subtract 25 from 40, right? So, this will be 40 minus 25. Therefore, this is 15. So, this will be 15. Okay? So, this is 15. And this is 25 because if you add this one, 15 plus 25, this is 40. And now, we can find S. So, we have 15 over 25. So, 15 over 25 is equal to 18 over s 18 over s so 15 over 25 is equal to 18 over s so imagine class if you multiply 25 and 18 these are large numbers and it will take time class that's why you need to reduce if you can reduce the fraction so that you will have small numbers can we reduce 15 and 25 yep we can reduce 15 and 25 so, 15 and 25, we can reduce that fraction. We can divide it by 5, right? 15 divided by 5, that is 3. 25 divided by 5, that is 5. So, this will be 3 over 5 is equal to 18 over S. And then, we do cross multiplication plus. Cross multiply. So, we will have small numbers. 15 times 18. So, 3 times S, that would be equal to... 18 times 5. Alright, so 18 times 5. Let's multiply that. So once again, 3 times s, this is 3s, equals 18 times 5. So 18 times 5. 5 times 8, that is 40. 0 carry 4. 5 times 1, that is 5. Plus 4, that is 9. So this will be 90. And then we divide it by 3. We divide it by 3. So 90 divided by 3. What's the answer, class? That's correct. S is equals to 30. That's it, class. Our S is equals to 30. Alright, so that's it for number 2. Let's write two more examples for you to really understand triangle, angle, bisector theorem. Alright, so number 3, we're told to find S. We have given 9 and 6. We're told to find this side. And we don't have this side. So how will you find this side class if you have the given total? That's correct. Simply subtract S from 10. So that would be 10 minus S and this will be this side, right? Let's give an example. Just in case class, this is a number. If this is 4, how will you find this side? If this is 10 for the total, that's correct. That would be 10 minus 4. This will be 6, right? To get this side, that would be 10 minus 4. Now since this is S... Therefore, this side right here, this opposite side of this angle, this side will be 10 minus S. So, this will be 10 minus S. Because 10 minus S, this will be this side. Alright, so we can make the proportion that would be this side over S. So, 10 minus S over S is equal to 9 over 6. So, check the fraction. Can we reduce 9 over 6? Yep, we can reduce 9 and 6. By what number? That's correct. We can reduce this 1 by 3. So, once again, reduce before doing the cross multiplication. So, this will be 10 minus S over S is equal to 9 divided by 3, that is 3. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 
And then we can do the cross multiplication. So simply cross multiply. So this will be 2 times. So 2 times 10 minus S is equal to S times 3. That would be 3 times S or that would be S times 3. Alright, so once again, you put parentheses because 10 minus S, this is binomial. We need to do the distributive property. So 2 times 10, that is 20. Then 2 times negative S, that's negative 2S. Equals 3 times S, that is 3S. Alright, and then to get the value of S, you simply transpose this negative 2S from left to right. Do not transpose 3S from right to left because it will be negative plus. Just simply transpose 2S from left to right. Always remember this one class in algebra X equals 3. It is just the same with 3 equals X. So it doesn't matter if your variable is on the right or is on the left of this equal sign. So always remember that one class. This is just the same. So instead of transposing 3S from right to left, we just simply transpose 2S from left to right. Because if we transpose 3s from right to left, it's, this will be negative 2s minus 3s. And it will be more complicated class if you're dealing with negative variables. So simply transpose 2s from left to right. So copy 20 equals copy 3s. This is negative 2s. It will be positive 2s. And then simply add plus. So this is 20 equals 3s plus 2s. That is 5s. And to get the value of S, you divide both sides by 5, divide by 5, cancel this out. 20 divided by 5, that is 4, is equals S. That's it plus. That's the answer for S. S is equals to 4, so this is 4. Then this one, this side, so that would be 10 minus, our S is 4. So once again, this is 10 minus S, our S is 4. 10 minus 4, this will be 6. Alright, so therefore, this side will be 6. Okay, let me just erase this one. This is 6. Alright, that's it class for number 3. So let's try the last example, number 4. So I hope you understand this one class. Once again, if you have some questions, you can always message me class in our Facebook channel. Same name with our YouTube channel. You can put a comment in the comment section down below class. Go ahead class. Alright, so this one, so we have given this side, opposite side, this side over this side, then this side over this side. Alright, so we can create proportion that would be 14 minus S over S is equal to 15 over 10. 15 over 10. So, can we reduce 15 over 10? Yup. Once again, always reduce the fraction if you can reduce before doing the cross multiplication. So this will be 14 minus S over S is equal to, we can reduce 15 and 10 by what number? That's correct, by 5, right? We can divide this one by 5, divide by 5, 15 divided by 5, that is 3, 10 divided by 5, that is 2. So you will have small numbers, class. Once again, 15 over 10 is just the same with 3 over 2. This is just the same, class. Okay? If you reduce this one, this will be the answer. Okay, we can now do the cross multiplication. So, this will be 2 times this one, 14 minus S, is equal to 3 times S. 3 times S. Alright, and then distributive property. So, 2 times 14, then 2 times negative S. 2 times 14, that is 28. 2 times negative S, that's negative 2S, is equal to 3 times S, that is 3S. Once again, transpose 2S from left to right so that our S value will be positive. So, copy 28 equals copy 3S. This is negative 2S. It will be positive 2S. And then, copy 28, combine like terms, 3S plus 2S, that would be 5S. And to get the value of S, you divide both sides by 5, divide by 5, cancel this out. And our S is equals to 28 over 5. You check plus if we can reduce. If not, that would be our final answer. So this is our final answer for S. So S is equals to 28 over 5. So this is 28 over 5. Now how will you get the side class? Alright, let's find that side because we're told to find the unknown sides. So this will be 14 minus our S is 28 over 5. 
So let's subtract this one. Finding the LCD, understood that there's one here. So the LCD of 1 and 5. So once again, we cannot subtract the fractions directly because the denominators are not the same. We find the LCD. So 5 divided by 1, that is 5 times 14. So 5 times 14. Let me multiply that. 5 times 4, that's 20. 0 carry 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So that would be 70. Alright, so 5 divided by 1, that is 5 times 14, that is 70. Minus 5 divided by 5, that is 1. Times 28, that is 28. So 70 minus 28. What's the answer? 70 minus 20. So let me subtract that. So 70 minus 28. So borrow 1. This is 6. This is 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. So that would be 42 over 5. So checklist. If we can reduce, can we reduce? Nope. We cannot reduce. So therefore, this side will be 42 over 5. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 4. So our answer for number 4, it's quite complicated. It will be a fraction. So once again, class, you can always check your answer, especially if your answer is a fraction. So let's check, class, if our answer is really correct with regards to this fraction. So once again, this is the ratio of this side over this side will be equal to 15 over 10. So 42 over 5 over 28 over 5 is equal to... So that would be 15 over 10. So 15 over 10. Or we can reduce this one by 5, right? 15 divided by 5, that is 3. 10 divided by 5, that is 2. So we can write 3 over 2. Alright, and then we can do the cross multiplication. So you multiply 2, and this one 42 over 5, then 3, and this 28 over 5. So let's check class if we really get the same answer. If this is equal, when you multiply this one, is equal to this one. Therefore, our answer is correct. Let's multiply that. 42 over 5 times 2 is equal to 28 over 5 times 3. Understood that there's one here, right? In the fraction, for 2, understood that there's one here. For 3, understood that there's one here. So, 42 times 2, that is 84. Then 5 times 1, that is 5, is equal to 28 times 3, that is 84. Then 5 times 1, that is 5. Therefore, our answer is correct, class. That is 42 over 5, then 28 over 5. That's it, class. So, I hope you learned something new today. Now, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, class, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.